Now the show was fun. We were in Iraq. God damn. My name is Kawar Rasul, I'm from Erbil city. Erbil is one of the oldest cities in this planet, about 5,000 years old. And for me it's a very cool city. We're here in like a market area and we've been taken to a cool kebab joint that they said where all the locals go, and it's always slammed, so we have to wait like 10 minutes to get in there. But it looks like it's gonna be pretty tasty. It's fresh bread, peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes. This might be the best kebab I ever had. Behind us is the oldest standing building in the world. It's called the Citadel. It's old. we got some great musicians who are going to be joining us. If you've never heard of these guys, new album out, Arabian Mountain, absolutely fantastic. I'm really excited to, to have Joe Bradley from Black Lips joining us in the studio. I'm just here for the air conditioning. You're here for the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, this particular tour, uh, last year we were trying to book it as well, but Arab Spring happened, so we had to postpone it for a year. And we're adventurous and we want to be surrounded by our friends and go to a region where we don't know much about and hopefully bring back a fresh perspective. the desert on the Arabian Peninsula in Dubai, but we're at a shopping mall and we're about to go ski in. It's well over 100 degrees outside, but they got slopes here in the mall. This whole place just seems insane. Like 30 years ago, this was just a desert. There's nothing here. We've been together um, just about 13 years now, ever since we're like 15 years old. And were there times when I said, yes, this is not what I want to be doing? Absolutely. Were there times where we were at each other's throats because the chips were down? Absolutely. But it takes a mature person to look at the situation and, take, and get yourself away from the individual mentality and just look at the bigger picture. And, you know, what's really important? Is this fun? Do I have to think about it every day? It's like, well, I could just be sitting at home, stuck there in Atlanta, like doing absolutely nothing interesting with my life. Instead, I'm here in Dubai with Lazy Lung, Bill Cody, and the likes of everyone else, having a great time and living a life worth living. That was well said, man. Yeah. That was really well said. Uh, we could just end the show there. That's <laughs> out in Dubai because usually you get bands that were popular in the 80s who are bankrupt now <laughs> so it's actually pretty cool to, to have somebody play here who's like from an indie background in the yeah. States yeah. come on yeah. here it's pretty cool
Alien pyramids. <laughs> Alien power plant. And at the Fine. top, that's where they get the power from. Uh, Hello, we're the Black Lips, and we're in Cairo at the pyramids at Giza, the Great Pyramids, the biggest ones, and the most well known. Way bigger than the one in Memphis. The archaic practices of the merchant vendors here at the pyramids of Cairo reminded us that we once came from something more simple. This water sucks. This is my friend Mark. He's from Lebanon and he's from Lazy Lung. And we've been touring all over the Middle East together and we're going to Tahrir Square. Things seem to be uh, back to normal. I mean, you can really see uh, spray paint and graffiti everywhere with uh, political messages and, and everything like that. But I mean, it's back to normal traffic. Uh, this is the American University in Cairo. Uh, notice all the holes in the window. This piece of graffiti kind of villainizes the Muslim Brotherhood, as you can see from the beard. Um, and I was told that graffiti is not a form of propaganda that the Muslim Brotherhood uses, so it's pretty much exclusive to the young students. Yeah, but, but the thing is, we have no idea what's about to happen the coming few days because the government has changed. I mean, I've heard rumors they're going to cut out all the alcohol, cut out all the clubs, mm. and it's some guy fucking uh, Muslim beard with the shit, you know? But they can't. They can't do that because... They can't because the drinking has always been in the Egyptian culture. Hey, where are the black guys from? From Florida. It's in America. I like this kind of music since I was 16. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>